YouTube land, what's up? It's your girl Makara. Listen, it is Tuesday, 5:42 in the a.m. How are y'all doing? So listen, y'all. Oh my gosh. How are y'all adapting to this weather change? So with me, I gotta look for my icy hot and my vapor rub fix and vitamin C and Oh, it, uh, my joints and everything that's like fragile about me is aching. Oof, my back is aching. I got to find that icy hot. True. Corns on fleek. Oh, this weather changes. Awful. Oh, I can't stand when a cold front come on. Oh, I can't stand it. That means I'm going to be aching and bones are going to be in pain and stuff like that. You know, stuff that your mommy and your grandmama used to talk about. Hey, hey. So, if you are joining me tonight, this is my session that I have. And if this is your first time in my room, uh, welcome. I am introducing my gems and stones and rocks and collections, and I am uh, making you aware of the energies that they hold and possess and what um, forces each one of them do and what, you know, different role they play energy-wise. So my second um, crystal that I want to bring to you is Red Agate. And these are like, they're beautiful color. They kind of, kind of look like a pink salmon to me. They look like a pink salmon. And they have uh, a couple of dark purples in there, like a prune, plum color. Beautiful color. I can tell it might have a spruce of violet, but very, very light. So let me look on my chart and see what the crystal uh, red agate represents. Red agate represents passion, self-love, pers per perseverance, vacance, perseverance, I don't know. I know, but I don't know, but we'll find out. Okay, so in my spiritual realm, I'm thinking that maybe a Virgo could rock this. A Scorpio or a Capricorn would benefit from the energies of this crystal. Self-love, self-determined. Um, these are for the men that's in their um, knight and warrior energies. That's You have a soft, soft heart, but you're armored up. But you're riding in for victory, but you're armored up. So um, this maybe this uh, stone here can help you channel your energies and let them out because whoever this is about this that needs this red agate they are a creative person but they don't really know how to express their creativity they do but they don't know how to let it fly if that makes sense Perseverance, I believe that's what that word is, perseverance. Let me look up perseverance because I really don't know what per I, I'm thinking that's around the ambition family. Let me find out. Hey, where's my, oh, I was looking for my microphone. Perseverance. Perseverance. Persistence in doing something despite of difficulty 
or delay in achieving success. Right. So it has it it it's in that ambition family. I knew it was somewhere around there, but I'm not really familiar with that family. I just know a taste of it. Like in in uh exquisite people have this feature perseverance. Like you'll press on. Yeah. I really think a Capricorn could really, really use this. And I just happen to be a Capricorn. And I'm going to see what else they say about this. But a Virgo really, really could use this red agate because a Virgo already is made of lava and pot passion and fire and lust. And like I said, a Scorpio could use that. And a Capricorn could use that. But what I like about this here is channeling my levels of wisdom because now I have graduated to the goddess era of wisdom. So I'm challenging my wisdom because there's certain areas that I know they exist. And like I said, I, I know enough to hold a conversation with them, like the ambition and that family over there, I know enough to hold a conversation with them, but I don't know much about them, and these days they're becoming intriguing. So let's see what else uh, Google has to say about this red agate. Oh, y'all, and I gotta unhook my Bluetooth. Okay, because it was playing, I couldn't hear it. It was playing out in left field. Where I hang out at a lot. Uh, let me find my Google. What energies does the red agate crystal possess? All right. What powers does Aga does Avigat have? It cleanses and stabilizes the aroma, eliminating and transforming ne negativity. A Pisces could really benefit off this red agate, I'm believing. But see, that's why we'll do a back check and see if any of these things I say claim to be true or if I'm learning something new, because I am. I think a Pisces would really like this. If Sue, oh, oh, let me finish reading. It enhances the mental function, improving concentration, perception, and analytical abilities. A Libra could like this. Maybe it could stop the Libra from going all the way down and coming back all the way up to where they damn near break. It soothes and calms healing inner and anger and tension and creates a sense of security and safety. Uh-oh, a Taurus could really use this. Now let me see if it tells me what signs can use this. What signs should use the crystal's red agate? Okay, it says the Gemini. Well, I didn't think about the Gemini. The Gemini birthstone. Oh, it's the it's a Gemini birthstone. The Gemini birthstone is the agate or the pearl. Agate comes from many colors and its variety of whatever and quartz means that healing and grounding. Those born between June and Gemini. Okay, so it says the Gemini should use this. But I'm still betting my money on what I said, those signs. You you can use this too. I just can't find the actual breakdown where it would show me what all what all zodiac signs should use red agate. According to conscious items, 
Although it's not a traditional birthstone, astrologers claim red agate has a special affinity for those born under Capricorn's zodiac sign. Pisces, Taurus, and Scorpio are also believed to benefit from red agate's warm blood. Did I tell you? Didn't I tell you the Pisces could really benefit from this because the Pisces goes in the sunken places a lot. So the Pisces really could benefit from this red agate. The Taurus it oh, has so much steam to blow. That bull will listen. That bull will push you out of the wall of the house. A Taurus did not tell you a Taurus could use this. Did not tell you a Scorpio could use this. And also, I'm saying a Virgo can use this as well. A Virgo naturally has these features, but it would enhance, this red agate would enhance a, a Virgo's feature. The passion feature. The seduction feature. You know, back that way. Let me see something. What energies does red agate heal? This silly thing. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go into another question. What chakra does agate help? Uh-oh. Red agate and the colorful fire agnets resonate with the base of the root chakra. A sign that your root chakra is troubled or feeling insecure or general anxiety. So, I have a prescription that Dr. Shade Tree is writing off for you tonight. Scorpios, Virgos, Capricorns, Pisces, and Libras. I want you to invest in red agate. This is a prescription I am writing to you. I am allowing you to use my energy until you purchase your red agate. And then after that, you return my energy back to me. But this is your prescription. Red agate. So, that ends my conclusion, my Jim Rockstone therapy for tonight. So, please, if you like my session, please like, please share, and subscribe. Cougar's Closet. Mwah.